Whether you're conducting personal business or running a multi-million dollar corporation, one factor remains constant, change. Often science or technology inspires the change and dictates the direction we take. Advances can also come from new ideas on management or networking. However change happens, keeping up with it is crucial in today's business world. The fall of companies like Enron, Tyco, and WorldCom has brought the issue of corporate fraud to the forefront. But it has also magnified the role of one special white-collar crime fighter, the certified fraud examiner. The WorldCom fraud, for example, was uncovered by a certified fraud examiner. Uh, CFEs have investigated collectively more than two million cases of criminal and civil fraud. As the world's largest anti-fraud organization, the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners has nearly 40,000 members in over 125 countries. Dedicated to reducing the incidence of fraud and white-collar crime, the ACFE trains anti-fraud professionals how to detect and prevent fraud at every level within a company. There have always been fraud investigators and there's always been accountants, but again what we've done is we have melded these together into a cohesive unit. The ACFE wants to prove that crime does not pay, especially within your own company. No matter how successful your business, the biggest problem often comes from within. The cost of fraud can be disastrous to a company, especially when you consider the typical U.S. business loses over 5% of its gross revenues each year to fraud and abuse. Corey Bloom is the chairman of the Board of Regents for the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners and a fraud examiner for the firm of RSM Richter in Montreal. Fraud is the use of deception in order to obtain money or property to which you're not entitled. It comes in all forms. There's embezzlement, skimming, payroll frauds, expense report frauds, and it's a huge problem and it's growing. And the main reason is that most companies are very reactive, they're not very proactive. And what that means is that they're not doing enough or spending enough in order to ensure that they're not victimized by their own employees. Employees like Walt Pavlo, who was convicted in the largest fraud in American history, MCI WorldCom. While top corporate executives were cooking the company's books, they didn't know Pavlo had a scheme of his own to defraud the company of millions of dollars. And I would go into the MCI's books. I would eliminate the $2 million that was owed by that customer. The customer would execute a promissory note with my partner on the outside to give the perception that he had made this payment to MCI and that he now owed it to him. Um, all the money was transferred and made payable to companies in the Cayman Islands, which seemed legitimate because uh, the, the investors were all European, um, and immediately money started to flow. The WorldCom fraud and millions of others were discovered and investigated by certified fraud examiners. This special breed of anti-fraud professional is specially trained to resolve fraud allegations from inception to disposition, to gather evidence, take statements, write reports, testify to findings, and assist in the detection and deterrence of fraud. James D. Ratley is president of the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners. The certified fraud examiners got to have the communication skills that will allow them to communicate with someone and not only listen to what they say, but also to determine if they're being truthful or evasive in their answers. They've also got to have the financial skills to be able to look at financial information and ferret out the red flags or the facts that indicate there's a problem. The, they've got to be the accountant cop. Certified fraud examiners must be of high moral character, have at least two years experience in a fraud-related field, and pass the rigorous uniform CFE examination. They must also constantly undergo training to keep them abreast of the fast-changing world of fraud. Very important for CFEs to continue professional education because scams are always changing. The fraud field is very dynamic and CFEs have got to be able to identify the issues and address them appropriately. Now, CFEs are required to maintain a minimum of 20 hours of professional education per year. And those can be in a variety of ways, for example, seminars, uh, conferences, webinars, or even self-study courses. All CFEs are members of the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners, the world's largest anti-fraud association with over 40,000 members in 125 countries. Joseph T. Wells, a former FBI agent, is founder and chairman of the ACFE. Well, oftentimes when a company or an organization has a problem with fraud, the certified fraud examiner is the solution. 
Uh, the designation represents a level of expertise in the field of fraud prevention, as well as fraud examination, fraud detection. You can count on having a professional when you have someone that has a certified fraud examiner designation. Uh, we have a dedicated staff. We have a board of regents. We have 105 chapters. Uh, and so it's been a lot of work by a lot of people to bring it to where it is today. Government agencies such as the FBI, the Government Accountability Office, the Department of Defense, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, and many others actively recruit CFEs. So do major corporations, top accounting firms, financial institutions, and insurance companies. Certified fraud examiners play a major role in helping to protect our global economy and ensure integrity in the marketplace. The threat of fraud is enormous. The ACFB estimates that in the U.S. alone, it costs the economy over $600 billion a year. Worldwide, including money laundering and the underground economy, we're talking about trillions of dollars. That's more than all the robberies and thefts that you find every year, and that doesn't take into account the physical toll on the victims. What we're seeing these days is a lot of transnational types of scams, which means that they're occurring in many countries at the same time. And what you really need is a truly global organization like the ACFB to be able to fight against these types of frauds. And I'm very proud to be part of it. All organizations, regardless of size, face a growing threat of fraud. But companies don't have to wait until a disaster happens before doing something about it. CFEs are not only trained to investigate fraud, they also know how to assess a company's risk to help reduce the problem. There is no amount of money that I would have obtained um, that, is, that would be worth what I've gone through, none. Um, and, you know, $800,000 and the lifestyle and the changes and, and some of the things were so short-lived and threw away so much of what I had accomplished. Just the fact that you have certified fraud examiners within an organization has a measurable impact because people know that someone in the organization is actively seeking out fraud and that helps reduce fraud. And Although our CFEs investigate a lot of fraud, what we really want to do is prevent it from occurring in the first place. We hope this program has been an inspiration to you and all you hope to achieve. Be sure to join us next time as we continue to profile the people and ideas changing the way we live. I'm Lou Gossett, Jr. To locate a certified fraud examiner, simply log on to acfe.com.